hello guys welcome back to hope's kitchen where today i'm making some of uh, stew that's what i'm making today for those of you that don't know uh of the stew is very common um among a uh, yoruba um recipe so today i'm gonna be showing you guys um how to make this designer stew as nigerians would call it it's so yummy and it's so delicious if you want to know how I made this designer stew. Ensure that you wash tea, the and and I'll be seeing you in a minute. So, guys, what I'm gonna be using for this um recipe would be um some scotch bonnet i've got some four uh scotch bonnet i know a lot of people do use a lot of um uh, scotch bonnet for this recipe because it's pepper like because i don't eat that much of pepper so i'm only using four and i'm using some uh bed peppers red bell pepper and i'm going to just start blending with my food processor you definitely need a food processor for this recipe without food processor unfortunately it, your uh, offer the steel will come proper <laughs> So guys, um, as you can see now, um, this is how your um, your blended or yeah, your blended uh pepper should look. Not fully blended, as you can see, like everything should have been uh, blended completely. So that's why I say it's very important for you to use uh the food processor in order not to blend it completely. So as you can see, um, I'm just going to uh, strain uh, the water just to take the water off because you do not need water for this recipe. So I'm just going to strain and after straining, we'll get back. So guys, I've got my uh, onions. So it's very important that you use quite a lot of onions. In this case, I'm using about three onions for this recipe because you do need a lot of onions for this recipe. So I'm just going to blend it completely, uh, the onions, because I'm going to be adding the onions as well. So guys, I'll be adding some palm oil to my cookware because for this recipe I'm using uh, palm oil. It's very important to use palm oil for your um, uh, or for the uh, sauce. So guys, I'm just going to leave this oil to bleach for about three minutes after bleaching. And I'll be adding some uh, locust base as you can see in the video. And also at the same time, I'll be adding some blended uh, onions and I'm going to stir everything together. And once that is done, the next thing I'll be doing is to leave it for about two um, to two to three minutes to cook or about four minutes to cook. And we'll get back. So guys, after two to three minutes this is how it looks and uh, i'm gonna be adding the peppers now the blended peppers gonna be adding everything and i'm gonna just stay and stay and stay and after that and i'm gonna just leave it for about a few minutes to cook and i'll come back <music> So okay guys, yeah, after a few minutes uh, I'll be adding my um my cubes, my Maggi cubes. I'm adding some, uh, two mini Maggi cubes and some little salt and salt is just to taste just a little bit as you can see in the video I've had it and I'm just going to stir and stir. Before adding my mint and every other stuff, I'm just going to cover it up for another few minutes to cook. <music> So guys, as you can see, I've had a, 
my mains and every other stuff i've had it everything now and i'm just gonna stir everything together and after having my mains i'll be having some fish because you know when africans we love everything in our foods we love every kind of meat you know fish just name it everything we had to ask to so that's what i'm doing today i'm gonna be so greedy by adding every single thing <laughs> to this uh, off of the sauce so um i'm gonna just leave for another few minutes to cook So guys, at this stage, my oven the sauce is nearly, nearly ready. So, um, I'm still going to leave it for another uh, few minutes, you know, uh, before the oven the sauce uh, is ready. So guys, and also I'll be having some eggs, you know, some eggs. You know, I told you guys that I'm going to be putting everything here on this stew so i'm having every single thing guys you know so i've just had it done now so i'm gonna leave it for another few minutes just about let's say roughly four to five minutes and my offer the stew is ready <music> So guys, at this stage, my offer the sauce is ready. Guys, just take a look at that beauty. I mean, take a look at that beauty. Just take a look at it. Isn't that so looking yummy? And trust me, guys, this was actually mouth watering. I uh, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. This was yummy, absolutely delicious, you know. So guys, and you know, it's time to set the food, you know, you know, guys, please just let me know what you think about this recipe. It's actually my very first time of making this recipe. I just needed to give it a try, but guys, it came really, really well. And it was mouth watering, you know. It was so delicious, it was so, yummy so guys uh one thing i will need from you guys i want you guys to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this recipe please do give it a try and if you do give it a try please make sure you come back to the comment section and let me know how it came and what you think about uh, the recipe so guys i'll leave you here and i'll be seeing you back in my next video i love you all Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and turn on that notification bell so you will be the very first person to be notified each time I upload a new video. Oh, thank you guys. Let me set this food and I'll leave you guys with some beautiful music. So enjoy yourself with before the end of the video. I love you and take care. Bye for now. Bye.